Stockhausen had a, a dream one night and he woke up and the quartet were in helicopters. The idea of the music is that musicians sit in the four helicopters and then they fly and the beats of the rotors and the music all combines to form this one sound. They wanted the players being shot, just a single locked off shot within the aircraft and then they wanted three audio channels from the musicians. We're basically bolting in all the downlink equipment to all our live video feed and all our audios are coming down on our transmitter. Uh, so we're bolting in the equipment frame on this side so it's out the way of the player. We take our video signal from the camera and we take it into our transmitter. We mix it with our audio signals and make one signal. And basically we then put that on a modulated frequency. It's a very low signal comes out of here so we can just boost it up as we're transmitting quite far distances. We can boost it up, come out the door, down to the skid, and into this, which is the uh, actuator on the helicopter. Basically, the bend bit is our antenna, and that's the bit that actually transmits the signal down to the ground. Hell is in the air, the actuator then drops down a good metre or so below the aircraft, so the antenna is clear of the body of the aircraft, so it then transmits out. This just means that as the helicopter banks and turns, the antenna always stays at the lowest part of the aircraft. So if they go into a tight turn, what we don't want to do is block the signal getting down to the ground, so the signal always can see clear line of sight to the receive side. And before they come back into land, they flick a switch inside, and the actuator arm comes up and stows into this position you can see it in now and uh, they can safely land. My task on this is to provide the four cameras and fit them into the helicopter in such a way that they can see the musicians performing and obviously make it obvious that they're inside an aircraft that's flying around. We chose the cameras because of decent image quality. You can get interchangeable lenses for them, so we're after the ultra-wide lens, which is this is fitted with. And most importantly, it puts out um, an HD SDI signal. This is what we need to put into the transmitter to get down to ground. Sorry, sorry. ND on the glass. Yeah, literally just Try and balance the there. inside of the helicopter with the outside yeah. of the helicopter. So when we've got the camera looking at the musician, it'll be sat about where I'm sitting. Yeah, the window won't blow out and just become a complete white square. Hopefully, we'll be able to see a little bit of the outside world. This is the comms antenna, so this is basically a UHF for our comms base station that we can then talk to the players if we have to from the director's position so they keep them in the loop and everybody knows what's going on. For this piece of music there are three microphones that are from the aircraft. There's a vocal mic on each of the players, there's the instrument microphone and then the last one is for the piece of music the composer actually wanted the noise of the helicopter and it's actually part of the music. The musicians can actually set a mix in their headphones of what they want to hear so they're hearing themselves plus the click track because the musicians can't hear each other and play in time with each other they have to play in time with a click so they all receive a click and a voice telling them where they are in the piece basically there's three channels for each helicopter in the concert space and then we've got an engineer Ian is in the hall balancing all of those according to the score so he has to make the the helicopter blade sound change in certain ways and work with the instruments to balance them. So we managed to get all of those three audio sources and with the video and transmit that signal down to the ground where it's received. Uh, they then deal with it and put it on the big screens within the space. These are the batteries for the helicopter, basically wiring straight to the battery and inside there's a clever little box that we also take attached to the generators of the helicopter. So we know when the helicopter's running and has power, we can then safely take power from the batteries here. So this is what's connected to the battery. And this is our power supply, where we can basically, on this little box, we can then give the pilot control to turn the power on, off, on and off for all the equipment. So the, the pilot has control, basically, uh, of the helicopter. And if he has any problems, he can just turn our equipment off at any point for safety if he needs to. I think we're gonna find some challenges in fitting the musicians into the aircraft and fitting the equipment around them, so obviously we've got to make sure the camera and the light isn't in the way of the musician. That's definitely too low. That's going to be some too high. high. It's too... The, the the ceiling's too low. Oh, oh yeah. Unfortunately, there isn't a sunroof in this one. <laughs> no, I was thinking Unfortunately. Right, for the seats, see where I'm sitting here. If you imagine me holding a violin, the bow will end up in the roof. 
So they've got to sit lower, sort of further into the, into the aircraft. There's some logistical issue with that. I mean, they can't go any lower than the base of the seat. If we really take the cushion off, we can't go lower than that. Because they've got to lower seat belt. Do. Spent quite a few weeks uh, working very hard to try and learn this very difficult music. And suddenly, all of those problems are fading slowly into the background. <laughs> Yeah, to the actual logistics of having to play this plane here. That's going to be interesting, so being in really very strange space to be playing in, strange position, and moving through the air while playing really, really hard. rock hard music. <laughs> and also the fact that we've never played it with the noise of a helicopter. <laughs> Yeah. We've tried. We, we practiced with our washing machines on to try and get on full spin to try and get the sense of it. We normally do downlinks uh, pretty routinely, normally for aerial filmings or marathons and everything else. This one's been quite interesting, just the fact that the musicians in the back and having making sure all the audio levels right and putting a camera internal to the aircraft. It's been really interesting, a challenge. Not that far different from what we normally do, but has actually been quite good fun, quite a challenge in itself, quite different. Unlike anything I've ever experienced in my life, it's completely insane.